Okay, so how do you receive payments on Pioneer? Now, Pioneer is a platform that will enable you to receive payments from your Amazon. So what you need to do is go to Pioneer.com on your web browser. Now, if you are using Chrome or you are using any web browser at all, all you need to do is go to Pioneer. Dot com as you can see on the screen above and you'll be redirected to this website immediately now immediately it opens just at the top right corner whether you're using a phone or you're using you know your laptop you see it just at the top right corner you see right there sign in or get started yeah, maybe you scroll down a bit, you're going to see get started. Or if you don't scroll down, you're going to see sign in. So you just click on get started. And immediately, you're going to be redirected to this page. Now, immediately it opens, you're going to see freelancer or SMB, online seller, affiliate. Like now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to sell online. So you click on the second option down there which is online seller. Now a new page is going to open and you're going to see, I'm looking to get paid by e-commerce marketplaces. All you need to do at this point is to click on that get paid by e-commerce marketplaces. And voila, next page is going to open, which you're going to see register. You're going to see it right there even. Get paid by Amazon which like as a so just click on register and immediately another page is going to open where you're going to fill in your details now remember you're an individual trying to sell companies have their own you know taxes and all that so to avoid all that you need to say or make them know that you're an individual is trying to sell except you're a company that is trying to sell on amazon you know but to avoid you trying to fill in all those tax regulatory and all those things so we just pick on individual and fit fill in those details like your date of birth and all that and once you're done this second page is going to open where you're going to fill in your country your zip code your address and all that so once you are done with the four steps they are all simple steps once you're done, this page is going to open up. A page like this is going to open up. Now, all you need to do is go, you no, know, click on the top left corner, and then, and then click on withdraw and transfer. Now, maybe you click on it. Right, you're going to see withdraw to bank, and you're going to when you maybe click on withdraw to bank. They're going to ask you to fill in your bank details. Now, I've already filled in my bank details in here, so I won't need to fill in all those, but it's very, very easy. All you need to do is put in your Nigerian bank account, or if you have a South African, or if you have any bank account, just put it in there, and they will confirm or verify if the account can actually receive payment. The next you need to do is go to settings. Now the settings is so you will be able to um, update your profile. So immediately you click on profile settings, you see your name, your email, I feel it, all of these details. It's just easy. But all you need, one thing that you need to take notice, you need to make sure that the details you fill in here is the same with that which you filled on your Amazon. This is so that, you know, if you use the name for your Amazon, it has to be the same name with the, what you use in here. You know, so that, you know, you won't have any issues getting paid or any delay getting paid. So I will suggest you use the same names and all that. And the next thing that you need to do is for the requesting payment, need to update your account and all that but everything in here is just so easy very very easy with pioneer 
in fact you can even play with all of your options in here now the next thing i'll need to show you is how to put or generate you know a bank account on your pay on here and then update it on your amazon account so all you need to do now is click on usd and then you see the account type the account number and the routing a b a so you click on that account number click on those two um, buttons in front to copy now immediately you copy this you go to your amazon account then you zoom in to that top right corner you click on your account now a fresh page is going to open which will require you to sign in again so all you need to do is fill in your email and your password and then sign in follow this two-step verification process and all that and all that by the time you are done with all those this page is going to open up where you are going to select your business type and then your location your region how you want to get paid now all you need to do next is to click on individual now your business type is individual then you fill up your date of birth and your country and your region but the part that is you know more important to us because we need to fill in this information for us to assess the getting paid so many filling those informations filling your your um, address then the getting paid session is going to be opened for us to fill so what you will do at this point is to click yes at this incomplete payment setup and mainly you click on yes this page is going to open where is your bank then all you need to do is to type united states united states so mainly you type united states you know the complete version is going to pop out it's going to, so all you need to do is click on it paste you know your account name the name you used for the pioneer account and remember it's checking account then you put in paste the account number we copied now if you don't know what the account number is i'm going to go to the previous pioneer page so you will see right here the account number and the well, routing aba number so you just click on that account number those two um icons on in front of your account number you copy it and then you go to your kindle and then you paste i'll do the same for your routing aba number you go back to your kindle and then you paste and then you scroll down you scroll down and then you click on add and that's just it everything about your banking information it's already filled and we're done so all you need to do next is to go down and click on save and that's that's just it that's literally it all you need to do next after saving all your your information is to click on complete tax information now all that is very very simple all you need to do is follow the process now Kindle is going to withhold some amounts and all that but don't worry every information that is going to show up next just follow that individual tell them you aren't a US citizen and you know that's literally everything you need to do but if you have any issue along the line feel free to contact me through the number that is displayed on your screen right now I will answer you or reply your text or call immediately. But how do you successfully select a book title without getting blocked on Amazon? And how do you design an ebook cover? Well, to answer all this, let's take a look.